That's the uh, that's the trade-off. That's which, a big trade-off, I feel. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty it's pretty expensive. But if you if you manage to beat a dual or talent here, well, maybe not. Kuroki is taking so much damage here. He's actually probably going to be brought down here. One more clobbing swing. No, he gets hit by the tether. I mean, Kiro's just outplaying really, really far too. And oh, it's going to get nightmare. Secret are thinking. Oh, never mind. Navi are thinking about it, but no, there aren't. Or maybe they are. Kuro is taking a lot of damage here. They might be able to bring him down. But the magic stick usage here, keeping him alive still. He's going to get a double. Turns it around right at the end here with a beautiful death pulse. What seems to be inferior lanes, in my opinion, or just at least some very odd ones. They're just they're pulling out the big place. Very deep dive from Kuro. He doesn't have any backup right now. Uh, he is really far in. No going to come in though here. Arrow coming in as well. It's going to connect on FNG. Kuro is still standing strong here. No tail, almost dying, but will use the max range of the tether to get away. It's an eight for nil. Now they're going to go on band score. What an absolute landslide this is turning into. Secret nine and nil. It's very smart wow. play from No Tail too. Every time. Puppy's going to get scouted out here by Wost. Oh, he's actually out of mana for leap. After using that arrow, turns out to be a pretty, or never mind, he already used it. Forget about that, but the turnaround is still there. Secret reinforcing once again, getting 11 for nil here, immediately coming in with a whole uh, negative regeneration and pure damage here, so a pipe will be very useful. He still needs to get to that point, though. Now they're going to try in the bottom lane again. I've seen this go wrong one too many times for Navi. Is it going to be different this time, though? They've isolated Kuro. They're not going on him, though. They're waiting for the tether to use the rabbit. Beautiful timing. But Kuro is still keeping No Tail alive. Finally, he'll die. Reaper's side, not enough to kill Vanscore, but that attack, no, it also won't be. The buyback comes in from No Tail. Now the reinforcements flying in. Secrets there with both Simba and Big Daddy coming back in once again. Will live. As a matter of fact, he has it in about 1,000 gold here, which could be about 15 minutes. Bloodstone with treads. Uh, they're looking for Vost. He does have his ultimate ready. Might have to expend it here. He's taking a lot of damage. Wow, what a cast rain. So they end up getting two only. Okay, secret attack deep here. They're reinforcing from the bottom. The Ravage is going to be way too late. They're just getting torn apart. They might bring down No Tail. No, they won't. They're still keeping on healing him. One more attack would do it, but still. With that 10 charge bloodstone, he can keep healing them. That's another initiation. Triple coil silence. Warp. It's there. Oh my god, that's gotta be GG. Not me. How long do you want to be pummeled for before you realize this game is out of control? There we go. Well, 30 to 3. If we ever want a quick game, it should just be you and me, Cassie, because we don't know what side it was. Well, like. I feel like this one had a little more depth than the, the one we cast yesterday as far as from a strategic point of view. That was a really cool showcasing of combination here and just the overall decision making from Secret was really At the same time, it could have gotten out of hand real quickly. Let, yeah. let's say they